everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I wanted to talk about the nine books that I'm going to hopefully read in 2019. A lot of people do 19 for 2019, but a lot of people also read like 80 to 100 books a year, and that's not me. I usually read somewhere between 40 and 50, so if I were to choose 19 books, I'd basically be choosing half of my reading for the year. So I'm sticking with nine. I got a nice selection of YA, nonfiction, and maybe one literary fiction, but a good variety and I'm going to share them with you. The first book is actually a reread for me and it is The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. I have this mass market paperback copy because I actually bought the whole set uh, on sale at Borders back in the day when Borders was still a thing. Oh, I miss you Borders. I originally read these, uh, I believe I was about 10 or 11 when I read them and I knew that someday I was going to want to reread them so that's why I purchased them and they've just been sitting on my shelf all these years waiting for that time and I think that time has finally come. This is of course the first book in his Dark Materials series. Very popular, very well known. It follows a young girl named Lyra and it's a magical world. She has a daemon. There's a lot of stuff going on. I barely remember any of it, so I'm looking forward to being reimmersed in this world and probably learning some new things or understanding things a little differently than I did when I was uh, reading the books at 10 and 11. The second book I want to read is The Unquiet Dead by Ausma Zahanet Khan. This is a mystery thriller book. We have a detective named Rachel who is told by her boss to investigate the death of a man who appears to have accidentally fallen off a cliff and it seems kind of weird that Rachel's being asked to investigate something that doesn't seem that suspicious but then she looks into the man who died and it turns out that he was actually a war criminal who had ties to the Sabronica massacre in 1995. So it sounds like things are going to be much more layered than we originally thought. I have no idea where this is going to go but I'm really excited by the premise. The third book I have is Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. This is the first book in the Falling Kingdoms series. It's a YA fantasy series and I've heard a bit about it but not a lot. It certainly doesn't get as much attention as a lot of the other series that float around here on booktube and I've actually had this and the second and third book for a while. I was sent them by Penguin when they were promoting the release of the fourth book and so I wanted to give them a try. I do know that it's about the rise of magic in this world world and these different kingdoms and the different uh, main characters. There's four of them. They, I think, each come from a different kingdom and they're all going to come together to sort of fight this probable evil that's arising because that's usually what happens in a YA fantasy series. So hopefully I'll enjoy it because then I'll want to read the second and third book. It's just, it's been so hit and miss with YA books for me, but I'm hoping that this one goes well. My fourth book is We Need to Talk About Kevin by Lionel Shriver. I've had this book on my TBR shelf for a long time. I think I probably picked up the book when the movie came out, and I believe the movie came out in 2011. So this has been sitting on my shelf for a long time. It's about a mother whose son, Kevin, kills a bunch of students and a couple faculty members at a school. And she's reflecting on all of this with uh, Kevin's father, who I believe is her ex-husband, a strange husband and kind of talking about how she thinks she might be the reason why this happened. This sounds like it'll be a very dark read, but I'm hoping to read the book and then watch the movie and probably do a book to movie comparison. Now in a totally different direction, the next book that I'm hoping to get to this year is my Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. It is a YA contemporary romance. Every once in a while I get the urge to read a YA contemporary and this one will be on hold for when that time comes. It's about a young woman named Samantha and she lives in a very quiet, calm, clean home with her mother and then next door there's a family with a bunch of kids. It's very chaotic, total opposite of Samantha's life and then one of the sons, Jace, comes into her life and I imagine that love blossoms and things happen from there. My next book that I want to read is On Trails and Exploration by Robert Moore. I originally picked up this book because the author hikes the Appalachian Trail and I love reading about the Appalachian Trail or any of the long distance trails in the United States, but while he's hiking this trail it gets him thinking about other um, interconnected networks and pathways in our world, so something um, that we can physically see like the interstate or on an ant trail or something that we can't see like the actual internet and just how that brings our world together. So I'm hoping that 
The Appalachian Trail part will be interesting, but it'll lead in well to the rest of the discussion that he has in this book. The third to last book I want to read this year is Gemina, which is the second book in the Illuminae Files series. This is a YA sci-fi book, and the first book I read last year, the first book is Illuminae, and I really enjoyed it. I was impressed. It's one of those books that's done in a really fun format, so there's some more normal looking parts, but then there's also a lot of files and funky uh, graphics and stuff to tell the story, and I absolutely love reading books like that. And so reading Illuminae, although it it, these books are about 600 pages, it goes by really quickly, and I liked the direction that the story went in most of the time, and I also liked how dark it was. And I'm hoping to continue that sort of vibe with this book. I obviously don't want to say too much about it because it'll spoil stuff for Illuminae. It sounds like this book follows different characters than we follow in Illuminae, but they're all going to come together in the end. Basically what happens in Illuminae is that a corporation decides to destroy a particular planet kills a bunch of people and they don't want any survivors but our main characters are survivors so this carries on and it the first book definitely ended on a bit of a cliffhanger so I'm excited to see where this goes. The second to last book I want to read is Big Weather, Chasing Tornadoes in the Heart of America by Mark Svenfold. This is a nonfiction book in which the author follows storm chasers in the American Midwest. I have always found that sort of stuff interesting and fascinating. Not something I would ever want to do myself, but I would certainly love to read about it. It sounds like we're going to get an in-depth look at the thrills of this job, how exciting it can be, the adrenaline, but also the lows when things don't go well or when people die. The final book that I I want to read in 2019 is The Fact of a Body, A Murder and a Memoir by Alexandria Marzano Lesnovich. I've seen this around on booktube a bit and the vibe that I've gotten is that it's really dark but really good. As it says right on the cover, this book is a memoir and Alexandria is studying to be a lawyer and she has always believed that the death penalty is wrong. She doesn't believe in using the death penalty in our justice system, but when she's researching a particular case, she comes across a guy, a killer, who changes her mind and she starts to doubt herself and whether or not she actually fully believes in the death penalty or if it should be used in particular cases and it sends her down this long path of looking into her past and researching this case and how it kind of connects to her life. I was perusing a local bookstore and I found this book in the sales section. I just love it when that happens because I had my eye out for it and then to just come across it like that it was just oh, it's perfect so I really got to read this book in 2019. Those are all the books I am hoping to get to in 2019. If you've read any of these books please let me know what you thought of them down in the comments below or if there's a particular book that you want me to pick up first you could also let me know in the comments as always all of our links are in the down bar you can go check those out if you feel so inclined thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you later